But first tonight, it's only the first day of August and already this summer has brought 113 degree heat to Portugal, collapsing glaciers to Italy and devastating flash floods to Kentucky and Yellowstone National Park. Scientists say all these events are consistent with a warming climate caused by greenhouse gas emissions. One of the keys to reducing greenhouse gas emissions is changing the way we produce and use energy. And some answers to those challenges are coming from a most unlikely place. This is a drab looking room, and it's never going to make a list of the most beautiful places in Maine. What it houses are batteries, batteries that store energy, energy that powers what is a beautiful place in Maine, Appledore Island. Appledore Island is home to the Shoals Marine Laboratory. There are no cars here, no homes, no businesses, no tourists, because it's not open to the public. Roughly 70 people live here only in the summer. Nearly all of them students and scientists engaged in research and education related to marine science. The island is small and remote, about seven miles off the coast of Kittery. Everything about how we operate out here, we have looked at the sustainability of what we eat, what we do with our waste, how we deal with water, how we use water, how we uh, make water. 20 years ago, all of Appledore Island's electricity came from generators in this barn. They burned about 10,000 gallons of diesel a year. And in this fragile environment, the generators were anything but environmentally friendly. We even had garden tours back in the day where we had to close the generator room door because we were running such a big generator, they couldn't hear the people talk about the garden. In 2002, the lab installed this wind turbine. Then came solar panels, lots of them. As a result, the use of diesel has been slashed by 90%. When I first started, diesel was very cheap, and that's just you ran the generators, and I maintained the generators, and that was great. And um, Once we got into this, and the first day that we weren't running a generator 24 seven. I had to like turn a light on in the shop just to know that we had power because it was really strange. Which brings us back to the batteries. They store energy for when the sun doesn't shine or the wind doesn't blow. They are a crucial part of the lab's drive to make the island self-sustaining and to make it a model for other places that want to generate more electricity from wind and solar. We actually have a lot of visitors who come from other islands in Maine, literally other islands in Maine, to come see how we do it. You might think this island is so small that it's really not a good place to experiment with technology to see what works and what doesn't. But in fact, Appledore's small size is its virtue. Compact, isolated, relatively untouched by the outside world, the island is an ideal laboratory for testing green energy systems. It's really nice because it's such a, it's on such a small scale, so it's pretty easy to understand. I mean, we can see the wind turbine, we can see the, the solar, we have the numbers and all, on everything. Jason Chow is one of several college students who are interns. They get to work on real-world engineering problems, such as integrating the island's three electric microgrids or trying to come up with better ways to conserve water. It's been incredible to not only work on our own projects, but to see what other people are really passionate about. The intern program is sponsored by Unitil, the electricity and natural gas company. Thanks, Why is Unitil interested in the energy challenges on such a small, isolated island? Because it believes the lessons learned here can be used in far bigger markets on the mainland. And what being out here does is it, because it is smaller, it becomes easier to see how it all relates and how it all ties back in. So even though it's a larger scale on the mainland, it's exactly the same types of problems. The world faces a host of challenges when it comes to breaking away from fossil fuels. Maybe, maybe, a few answers can be found here. Being on Appledore, says one of the interns, has made her more optimistic. We can see how many of the solutions we already have. The solar panels are working well. We can see the wind turbine working whenever it's windy out. And we can see how much water we've saved here. It makes me think that these sort of solutions really are possible in more places. It's interesting to talk with those interns who are, as we said, college students, because they have a real sense of energy, a real sense of enthusiasm for tackling these yeah. kinds of tough challenges. 
And it's going to be their generation that's going to have to come up with solutions. So uh, previous generations have created the problems. <laughs> They're going to have to come up with the solutions. Well, the whole time I'm watching this, too, because I believe there aren't any year-round residents None. on the island. Yeah. But they're doing so much there. Well, it's the, you know, when, when I first heard about this, I thought, you know, it's, it, it is so tiny. It is right. just a speck of rock in the ocean. <laughs> and yeah, no, no year-round residents. And I thought, well, that's just so atypical that really what lessons does that have? But they, right. everyone out there said the same thing. It's just like the perfect experimental little dish because it's so small, so isolated. As we said, doesn't have those outside influences. And, and they can really track the numbers. They know yeah. how much energy they're using. They know how much water. They've got it all down. And that makes it really the ideal place for experimentation. Yeah, important which is stuff. Nice to see. Although Appledore Island is in Maine, it's actually part of Kittery, the Shoals Marine Laboratory is operated jointly by the University of New Hampshire and Cornell University. You'll find more information about the lab in the 207 section of our new Center Maine website and app. As we mentioned, the island is not open to the public. It's part of the group of islands known as the Isle of Shoals, one of which Star Island can be visited. Coming up.